Hey guys, I got a find here that works pretty good. Um, it's actually a pull from an old uh, brushless Delta fan. Uh, what uh, I showed you the other video were the thermal on and off switch for your hub motor, which is all right. I mean, it's so it's it's solid. It's gonna it's not gonna fail no matter what, right? This here is the board out of the Delta fan, and this type of fan has the thermal diode which actually ramps up pretty good uh, to use this in a setup where you could um, measure the temps and have a variable fan in your hub motor is you would take it apart without damaging the board obviously take the coil off the board and you're going to run a wire that would be your positive lead to your load on the center pin right there it'll vary probably on the board you can test each lead uh, each hole where the leads used to be but um, I can show you here that it does work and I'm actually over volting it at 17 volts and this chip stays cool but it doesn't stay too cool with uh, with this still in installed so you have to remove that so as you can see the fan spins up a little heat to the thermal center. It's a little sensitive, so it doesn't take much. So what you could do is you could basically just desolder that uh, thermal coupler there and extend wires on it and drop that right in your in your windings and the rest of it you can just basically um, heat shrink it and just to seal it up so it doesn't get wet but uh, this does work and I think this is probably the setup I'm going to have this way the fans don't use much hydro or much electricity when they run really slow and as the motor heats up the fans uh, rub up pretty much like a brushless DC fan <laughs> so it's, uh, that's a nice find and it stays relatively cold, so it's not going to fry. I'll uh, I'll try a couple more fans on it just to be sure that uh, it can take the load. Well, no problems. It seems to take the load quite well. Nothing seeing out. So I'll extend the leads on that. And uh, we'll have our thermal diode. Later, guys.